with that, we're back to stories closer home amid the tussle between several state governments and governors over pending bills. The Supreme Court on Thursday held that if a governor decides to withhold assent to a bill, then he has to return the bill to the legislature for reconsideration. This clarification by the top court is important because Article 200 of the Constitution does not expressly state what should be the next course of action. It is pertinent to note that the governor under Article 1688 is a part of the legislature and is bound by the constitutional regime. The judgment was based on a petition filed by the Punjab government against its governor's action to hold back crucial bills. Meanwhile, today the Supreme Court is also going to hear Kerala government's petition against the governor's delay in approving these bills. And with that, we have some breaking inputs coming in from Punjab. We are learning that Punjab's Chief Minister Bhagwan Maan has written to Governor Banwari Lal Purohit this to request him to clear five bills, the approval of which is pending in his office. This is the latest we are learning. Uh, remember, there was a lot of uncertainty with regards to these bills because the Governor Banwari Lal Purohit was not giving any assent to this. But after the Supreme Court's order, Let's uh, hope there is gl greater clarity and for details, let's quickly go across to Aman Bhardwaj as far as this new story is concerned. Uh, Aman, uh, hume thodi aur jankari dijiye ki kya kaha hai us letter mein Bhagwant Maan ne uh, governor ko. देखिए एक चीज साफ है कि जो पिछला क्लैश था और वो क्लैश ज्यादातर विधानसभा के सेशन को लेकर देखने को मिल रहा था कि क्या सेशन बुलाया गया और उसमें जो बिल पास किए गए जो रेजोल्यूशन थे क्या वो लीगल है लीगल है क्योंकि गवर्नर बनवारी लाल पुरोहित जो पंजाब के गवर्नर है उनकी ओर से ये कहा गया कि वो सेशन ही लीगल है और बजट सेशन को क्योंकि मार्च के बाद दो दफा एक्सटेंड किया गया जून में और एक मरतबा एक महीना पहले और उसके बाद इन दो सिटिंग्स को इलीगल कहना इसकी जितने जितना बिजनेस था उसको इलीगल कहना तो उसके बाद सुप्रीम कोर्ट सरकार गई थी सुप्रीम कोर्ट के क्लियरेंस के बाद की ये सेशन लीगल है तो अब ये भगवंत मान जो मुख्यमंत्री है उनकी ओर से लिखा गया है कि 10-11 का सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ऑर्डर है और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने माना है कि सेशन लीगल था तो दो दफा जो एक्सटेंडेड सेशन बुलाया गया जिसको गवर्नर ने लीगल कहा तो उसमें जो बिजनेस हुआ मतलब पांच बिल्स पास किए गए जिसमें अगर हम उन बिलों का जिक्र करें तो सिख गुरुद्वारा अमेंडमेंट एक्ट पंजाब पुलिस अमेंडमेंट बिल पंजाब एफिलेटेड कॉलेजेस सिक्योरिटी ऑफ सर्विस अमेंडमेंट बिल पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटीज लॉ अमेंडमेंट बिल पंजाब स्टेट विजिलेंस कमीशन जो बिल है तो इन पांच बिल जो हैं ये भी लीगल है और इन पर कब अब गवर्नर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के लीगल कहने के बाद भी इन बिलों को कब पास करेंगे कब अपना असेंट जो है वो देंगे तो ये लेटर उन्होंने लिखा है और विद ये भी मैंशन किया है कि अगर संविधान में और लोकतंत्र में वो विश्वास रखते हैं तो ये एक पीपल सेंट्रिक क्योंकि विधानसभा का सेशन था और उसमें जो मुद्दे भी थे या बिल भी थे तो सरकार का दावा है कि उस उस लहजे से ही इनको बिलों को विधानसभा ने पास किया और सुप्रीम कोर्ट के मोहर के बाद कहीं ना कहीं इनको पास करना बनता है तो उस सारी चीज को लेकर विद बैकग्राउंड ये सीएम ने जिक्र किया और लेटर गवर्नर पंजाब को लिखा है Absolutely, many thanks to you, Aman, for bringing in all those details. Because remember that some of them are very crucial pending bills, and they were uh, meant to be tabled during the winter session on 28th and 29th of November. On that note, let's try and get in a, a legal perspective and a bird's eye view as far as this entire news story is concerned. And for that, let me quickly go across to Ananya Bhatnagar, our legal correspondent, also joining me on the phone line. Ananya, do throw light on what the Supreme Court's order exactly said, because remember that also goes on to indicate that the governor cannot veto the. legislature by simply holding on to these bills well definitely a lengthy judgment had come out uh, from the supreme court in uh, in fact the punjab government's case and very very uh, categorically this move by the punjab chief minister also seems to be uh, after effect of that particular judgment wherein uh, the punjab governor has been asked to you know uh, go on with the bills very very clearly and in in a fast manner he has been asked to take a decision on those bills uh, whether to provide an assent or to send back those bills to in fact uh, the legislature but a very clear and cut perspective has now been put in by the supreme court clear clarity given that you know the governors can't hold uh, the bills for a very long time they cannot uh, take them and just sit on them for years and years and that's exactly what uh, the 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 supreme court has clarified in its order when it comes to the punjab government case now when we talk of the kerala government or the tamil nadu government case the kerala government case was came up before the supreme court today due to the paucity of time the matter has now been posted to tuesday however the development that has taken place is uh, with regards to kerala is that you know 
the attorney general has informed that he had met the chief minister and, in fact, the governor and uh, is carrying out kind of a peace uh, peacemaking uh, exercise um, when it comes to uh, you know uh, settling down this whole debate between the government the government. But with regards to the Punjab government's case, a very lengthy order came in wherein a very very important aspect and threshold has been drawn by the Supreme Court that in a parliamentary democracy, when it comes to you know. Uh, the power, the power is vested with those who have been uh, elected representatives. Though uh, governor is somebody who is an unelected person who uh, heads that particular government, but he is an unelected head at the end of the All day. Right. And that's exactly why uh, you know uh, the powers are vested with, uh, in fact, the elected representative. That's why the speaker is the one who decides the validity of a session, and exactly why. Absolutely, and certainly more the clarity to the governments as well in terms of how to proceed with these bills. Many thanks to you, Ananya, but for bringing in all those inputs and with that it's a quick wrap from my end thank you so much for watching up next is nation at five with anusha soni